السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان مائی نیکسٹ فیو ویڈیوز آئی ول بی رسپونڈنگ ٹو آل آف دا ریسنٹ ایلیگیشنز ریز بائی عدنان رشید اینڈ محمد امتیاز اینڈ آئی ول پروو دیٹ دے ہیو ڈسیو دا مسلمس ونس اگین اینڈ ہیو لائڈ اگینسٹ دا بکس آف حضرت احمد علیہ السلام ان دس ویڈیو وی ول بی رسپونڈنگ ٹو ٹو ایلیگیشنز دے ہیو ریز Now the first allegation of Muhammad Imtiaz and Adnan Rashid is that Hazrat Ahmed a.s. has written in his book Ayam al-Sul that magar Hazrat Isa aur Hazrat Musa maktabu mein baithe the aur Hazrat Isa ne ek Yahudi ustaz se tamam Torah padhi thi meaning that Hazrat Isa and Hazrat Musa would sit in the schools and that Hazrat Isa a.s. learned the Torah from a Jewish teacher. Now, Muhammad Imtiaz and Adnan Rashid are raising two allegations. Firstly, they say that Hazrat Ahmed salam, himself said that the prophets are taught by Allah and then has written that Hazrat Musa salam, and Hazrat Isa salam, went to schools and learned there. The second allegation they are raising is that show us where these prophets studied. It's unfortunate that where Hazrat Ahmed salam, is proving the greatness of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, the anti-Ahmadis decide to take his writings out of context and raise allegations on him السلام, here Hazrat Ahmed السلام, is explaining that other prophets were not unlettered they went to schools and learned but the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was the greatest prophet he never went to any school and was unlettered and then became the teacher of all All of mankind. The anti-Ahmadis have completely forgotten the teachings of Islam and they forget that only the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was unlettered. The other prophets were not unlettered. They could read and write. In the famous book Sahih ibn Hibban, it is written that Idrisu wa huwa awwalu man khatta bil kalam. That Hazrat Idris alayhi salam was the first one to write with a pen. And this is narrated from Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The same is written by Ibn Kathir in Al-Bidaya wa Nihaya. Then in Sahih al-Bukhari regarding Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam bringing Hazrat Ismail alayhi salam and his wife to Khana Kaaba, it is written that وَتَعَلَّمَ الْأَرَبِيَةَ مِنْهُمْ The Hazrat Ismail alayhi salam learned Arabic from the people there. Now the anti-Ahmadis hate when the Bible is quoted but I will prove everything from the Quran and their own tafsir as well. In Acts chapter 7 verse 22, it is written that Hazrat Musa salam, was educated in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was powerful in speech and action. We find the story of Hazrat Musa salam, and Hazrat Khidr in chapter 18 of the Holy Quran. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam said, May I follow thee on the condition that you teach me of the guidance which you have been taught. This shows that according to the Holy Quran, one of the teachers of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam was Khidr. Then Allah states in the Holy Quran in chapter 7 verse 146 and we wrote for him upon the tablets about everything an admonition and an explanation of all things so hold them fast and bid thy people follow the best thereof soon shall I show you the abode of the transgressors. This shows that Hazrat Musa salam knew how to read and write and he would keep the tablets with him. In chapter 7 verse 155, Allah states, And when the anger of Musa salam, was appeased, he took the tablets, and in their writing there was guidance and mercy for those who feared their Lord. 
In the book The Galilean Jewishness of Jesus, it mentions that the Jewish children were taught in schools during those days. In the book Jesus Literacy, it is written that like most Jewish boys, Jesus would have been educated in the local synagogue where he learned the scriptures and the Hebrew language. We know from his Nazareth sermon that he could read. Luke chapter 4 verse 16 to 20. In these verses of Luke, it shows that Hazrat Isa found the Jewish people a reference which shows he could read and write. Now it's important to quote the Christian literature to show the ignorant anti-Ahmadis that even the Christians are accepting that Hazrat Isa had a teacher. This shows the truthfulness of Hazrat Muhammad He was the only unlettered prophet and this shows that he was also the greatest. Everything he learned was from Allah the Almighty. We now turn to the Tafasir and explain how they too expose the anti-Ahmadis. Imam Fakhruddin Razi writes in his book Tafsir Kabir, Annahu lam yakum min ahlil qira'ati wal kitabati. The Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was not among those people of reading and writing. Then he writes, Wa inna ma nazalatit tawratu jumlatan li annaha maktubatun yakrauha Musa. That the Torah was revealed in its entirety because it was written and Hazrat Musa alayhi salam knew how to read and write. Then Imam al-Baydawi writes in his tafsir, لِأَنَّ حَالَهُ يُخَالِفُ حَالَ مُوسَى وَدَاوُدَى وَإِيسَى حَيْثُ كَانَ أُمِّيًّا وَكَانُوا يَكْتُبُونَ That the condition of the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, is different than Hazrat Musa, Hazrat Dawood and Hazrat Isa because he wasalam, was unlettered and they could read and write. Now this does not contradict anything Hazrat Ahmad said because all prophets learn the secrets of the religion from Allah the Almighty. Although Hazrat Musa and Hazrat Isa studied, the true secrets of the religion were only taught by Allah the Almighty. When Allah states He taught Hazrat Isa the Torah and Injil, it means that Allah taught Hazrat Isa the true meaning of the Torah, and the Injil refers to the revelations given to Hazrat Isa. Their last allegation was on Hazrat Ahmad salam, that he claimed that he had no worldly teachers and Allah taught him the secrets of the religion. The first reference they quote is of Najmul Huda in which Hazrat Ahmad salam, states that the reason the name Mahdi has been narrated is that he will not take knowledge from other scholars and will get guidance from Allah just as Allah gave guidance to the Prophet Muhammad then in the book Ayam Sul, Hazrat Ahmad writes that thus the coming person was named Mahdi and there is this hint in it that the coming person will get religious knowledge from Allah and will not be a student of any teacher in Quran and a Hadith. Thus I say it on oath that this state is my state. No one can prove that I have studied even a chapter of Quran or Hadith or Tafsir from any human or have been a student of any Mufassir or Muhaddith. Thus this is the Mahdihood I attained on the pattern of Muhammadi Prophethood and the secrets in-depth understanding of religion have been unveiled to me directly. Then the anti-Ahmadis like Adnan Rashid and Muhammad Imtiaz try to deceive the Muslims and quote Kitab al in which Hazrat Ahmad writes, In childhood my education was done in this manner that when I was 6-7 years old, a Persian speaking teacher was appointed for me who taught me the Quran and some Persian books and the name of this teacher was Fazl Ilahi and when I was about 10 years old then an Arabic teacher was appointed for my education whose name was Fazl Ahmed. From him I read some books and the grammar. When I reached 17 or 18 years of age, I had the opportunity of receiving education from another Molvi Sahib. His name was Gul Ali Shah. From this lastly mentioned Molvi Sahib, I studied grammar and logic and herbal medicine. 
Now here Hazrat Ahmed has clearly written that when he was still a young boy of 6 or 7, he had a teacher for the Quran and some Persian books. This age shows he referred to simple reading of the Quran, not the commentaries he claimed that Allah had taught him. When he was 10, he learned basic grammar and then at the age of 17 or 18, he learned grammar, logic and herbal medicine. There is no mention of Quran in a hadith in this third statement. Now I ask the Muslims, is this not deception? Why is Adnan Rashid deceiving the innocent Muslims? Hazrat Ahmed challenged all of the Muslim scholars to produce works like he produced and challenged them to write a commentary of Surah Al-Fatiha and that if they write such a commentary which is better than his, he would burn all of his books. He told the mullahs to get together and work together. Still, they were unable to respond to any challenge of the promised Messiah salam. This shows he was from Allah the Almighty and Allah the Almighty did teach him. I pray that Allah guides all Muslims to the true Islam. Ameen. Now, where the کہ نبیوں کا استاد اللہ کے سوا کوئی نہیں ہوتا نبی برائے راست اللہ کے شاگرد ہوتے ہیں تو ایک دم حضرت اٹھے اور کہتے ہیں بیان کروں گا اور گئے اور بیان میں کہا سنو بھائی نبیوں کے استاد اللہ کے سوا کوئی نہیں ہوتے یہ خصوصیت رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی یہ باقی انبیاء کے لیے ضروری نہیں ہے آج بھی خطیب یہ کہتے ہیں نا باقی انبیاء کے لیے ضروری نہیں ہے کیا اسماعیل علیہ السلام نے حضرت ابراہیم سے نہیں سیکھا حضرت یوسف نے حضرت داؤد علیہ السلام سے نہیں حضرت یعقوب علیہ السلام سے نہیں سیکھا حضرت سلمان حضرت داؤد کے شاگرد نہیں تھے حضرت ہارون حضرت موسا کے شاگرد نہیں تھے کہا یہ خصوصیت رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی ہے باقی انبیاء کے لیے ضروری نہیں ہے ان کے دنیا میں بھی استاد ہو سکتے ہیں اصلاح کرتے if you have not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notifications for every new video. Also make sure to like and comment on the video and follow on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs>